Greetings and welcome to my new Calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So, you know, I've produced many videos on the mean value theorem, and it seems to me that the morons of mainstream mathematics academia still don't get it. I still get comments telling me that I don't understand it by some fucking idiots who don't know anything about mathematics. And now I'm going to reveal something to you, which I think is pretty strange that after all those videos, none of you have picked up. Okay. None of you have even commented on this, but watch what I'm about to show you now, which proves that what I've been telling you all this time is true. So what I said to you in past videos is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the period or the interval here is. Okay. It doesn't matter. So, uh, if I have the slope at that point, then I can calculate all these areas by simply taking the product of the slope of this green tangent, which is parallel to the red one and multiplying it by this interval width. Okay. This guy here, 2.73546. Okay. So that's all I do now. So watch, I'm not going to move the point of tangency. All that's going to change in this is the length of the interval. Look, look, see that? See that morons? <clears throat> I know a lot of you math professors are hyper stupid, but this should convince you. And I would expect you <clears throat> to be honest enough to admit you're morons and to acknowledge me as the greatest mathematician ever. Um, I'm very kind revealing this stuff to you. You see, in your bullshit mainstream math, you talk about finding a C such that there is a parallel secant line. That's just utter bullshit. It's unremarkable. Um, what you find in the Encyclopedia Britannica is garbage. It's, it's not important. What I'm telling you is important. Um, not what your idiot lecturers of the past three, four hundred years have been telling you. What I'm telling you is correct, morons. Do you understand that? Now, because this is so important, I'm going to let you play with this applet. So I'll put a link to it in the details section. And if you have any questions, ask one question at a time. By the way, your opinion is less than shit to me. Don't even write your opinion in the comment sections. I don't care who you are. I mean, you're a moron compared to me. So your opinion doesn't matter. All you need to do is ask a question civilly and I'll answer it. But comment in my comment section that I don't understand the mean value theorem and I'll block you like I did with that little fucking moron who commented recently. Yes, it does bother me when little stupids who don't understand anything get on my channel and scribble shit. Now, go and scribble your graffiti somewhere else, you hyper stupid morons. And those of you who are interested in learning calculus, you've come to the best place. No one in the history of humanity understands calculus the way I do. And it's doubtful anyone else ever will. If you're not already a subscriber, become a subscriber. Click like on my channel. Become a follower on Academia. And also, you're able to join my uh members-only channel where you get this kind of information and much more, which I don't share with the public. Okay, so here's an article which is written for the hyper-stupid math professors of mainstream academia. I will put a link to this also in the details section. And hopefully, by the way, the correct value of the mean value theorem is this. Given any smooth function f prime of x, which is a derivative or, or a function, because a derivative is a function, isn't it? A derivative, a derivative function. Morons. The arithmetic mean of all the y ordinates of f prime over this interval is given by this identity. That's what I've been showing you here. Do you get it, idiots? Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm John Gabriel. Till next time, goodbye.